Once an active member of the Belize National Coast Guard, Petty Officer Kevin Diego is learning to overcome what may very well be his most difficult challenge yet. On April 19th, the seaman was sidelined by a mishap that almost claimed his life. Diego had only just arrived for duty at his post in Corozal and was in the process of cleaning his weapon when it accidentally discharged. A single 9mm round tore through his left foot below the knee, causing severe muscle damage. A couple months ago, while working, I had a gun accident. So I went for a sister with, at the Karihushna Memorial Hospital. I wasn't planning on having them amputate my foot because I wasn't ready for that. So I went to Chetamal for a further assistant to try to save the leg. The option to seek medical attention outside of the country came several days after being hospitalized in Belize City. During that time, the decay of soft tissues as a result of a lack of blood to the area threatened amputation. Um, he spent the better part of two weeks here in the healthcare facility in Belize City, um, where his health um, deteriorated uh, tremendously um, to the point where um, I think from day three or day five they were discussing removing his leg and I was completely um, against removing his leg um, but he was becoming infected with gangrene and um, that could even be life-threatening in a very short time. Indeed, during that brief period Diego's condition had already deteriorated. Strapped for cash to continue with his treatment abroad, he turned to the Mexican Navy for assistance. By that time, the foot was dying already, muscles dying, veins totally destroyed. Unfortunately, I was running out of money, so we asked for assistance from the Mexican Navy, and that's how I ended up in Mexico City. I did a couple surgeries on my foot. I still eventually lost my foot. But I am okay with it because I'm still here. I did some therapy sessions, some strengthening in the foot and in the arms because I lost a lot of weight. That much needed help came without question. There to aid him in his recovery was a team of doctors and therapists who worked tirelessly to rehabilitate the wounded officer. The initiative, according to Miguel Angel Guerrero, stems from a mutual relationship between Belize and Mexico. It's like just an example of, 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 of support uh, which shows the level of cooperation in our bilateral relations between Mexico and Belize. In this case, we, we were requested to, to assist to this uh, person from the Coast Guard, and that was our response. While there is no official accord between the neighboring countries, that friendly disposition has benefited Diego tremendously. There isn't a formal agreement between um, both parties, Mexican and Belize Navy's um, Coast Guard, but in this case it's more a case of uh, a gentleman's agreement, an informal agreement, but more so on the part of the goodwill of the office of the, the Secretary of the Mexican Navy, the goodwill and, 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 and his kindness, um, no doubt, that he intervened and was able to, to support us the way he did. From a personal point of view, the experience for Diego's girlfriend has been trying. Well, in the beginning, it was extremely shocking. Um, a huge family emergency, I would say, like the first time in my life. And um, I really had to fight hard to stay positive because when you hear bad news, your mind just wants to think the worst. Um, and so I tried to keep my mind positive from the very beginning. And that is what is helping me to go through this um, ordeal with him. Petty Officer Kevin Diego remains enlisted in the Belize National Coast Guard. He has returned home for a six-week break before heading back to Mexico to complete his recuperation and fit a prosthetic limb. His aim is to once again serve the country despite the physical setback. Whatever I can do after getting prosthetic, I will do because it would be like having my leg again, my foot all over, so I could possibly do anything that is required of me. 
I want to continue working, I will continue working because I'm young, I'm not ready to retire. Do you look forward to wearing your Coast Guard battle dress once again? Sure, 100 percent. I, I like helping people. I, I look forward to helping people and I like to see. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanik Hetano.